Hello everybody, it's Tanner Fishies here, back again with a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, we have some new Ninjago 2022 information to talk about, and this information is actually a couple of days old as of the time of recording this video. I could not jump on this topic right away because I have a whole bunch of new videos coming out talking about the 2022 sets. Now, of course, talking more about these upcoming Ninjago 2022 sets, the reception that these sets have been receiving throughout the community has been very mixed to say the least. Some people really enjoy these new sets, while others consider it to be one of Ninjago's worst set waves ever. And while I personally don't consider these sets to be that terrible, I can see where the disconnect is between Ninjago fans and LEGO. A couple of videos ago, we actually talked about a thread on Twitter, which was put together by an official LEGO designer who is responsible for designing some of these new Ninjago sets. The thread in question on Twitter actually provides a lot of insight as to why these new sets are the way that they are, how they got made and the process behind designing them. But of course the reason why we're talking about that again in today's video is because Ninjago series co-creator Tommy Andreessen actually had something to say about these new sets. If you guys don't know, Tommy Andreessen is one of the Ninjago co-creators and he uses his Twitter account to provide a lot of hints and clues as to what the future of Ninjago may hold. And he has interacted with this thread put together by LEGO designer Tooth Dominoes. Once again, check out his thread if you want to get a little bit more information about the new Ninjago set. Tommy Andreessen had this to say, Great thread, and while it was not a must request, we did make sure that some of these actually made it into the main canon storyline of Ninjago 2022. I spoke earlier about a disconnect between the Ninjago fans and LEGO themselves. These new sets actually did divide the community a fair amount. The biggest concern, though, was how these sets connected to the Ninjago TV series. I previously reported that these sets will not at all tie into the Ninjago TV show because they appeared to be taking a different direction. LEGO themselves made it very clear that these sets were intended to be part of a series of Ninjago short films, meaning that these sets will probably not at all interact with the main Ninjago storyline following Ninjago Seabound's release in 2021. And that caused a big rift between Ninjago fans, causing disappointment for some, but optimism for others. Thankfully though, it seems like Tommy Andreessen thought about that and pulled through, because according to him, some of these sets will indeed be appearing in the Ninjago Season 16 story, or whatever you want to call the Ninjago 2022 storyline, which in turn is very exciting and very considerate of the Ninjago staff. They did not have to do that, but I'm glad that they did, because some of these sets are very cool looking in my opinion, and I would love to see them in the show. The key word though of this entire tweet is some. Some of these sets will actually appear in the main Ninjago storyline of 2022, which actually introduces a couple of new points. For one, not every Ninjago set of the 2022 wave will be appearing in season 16, or whatever you want to call the next season. We also don't know how many sets will be appearing as well. There could be one or several 2022 Ninjago sets making an appearance in the TV show itself. I do believe that the next season of Ninjago will indeed have its own dedicated line of LEGO sets as per usual, but those are probably going to be pushed towards spring or summer releases for 2022. However, as mentioned, some of the January 2022 releases will in fact be in the show, but which ones are those? Which sets could make it into the show, taking into account everything we know about the upcoming Ninjago? Ninjago story for season 16. Well, why don't we go ahead and talk about that? Let's jump over to lego.com and take a closer look at all of these new sets once again and discuss which ones could appear in the upcoming Ninjago TV series. You know, just for prediction's sake, just talking about speculation here. All right, guys, so here we are back on lego.com where we can see we have all of the new 2022 Ninjago sets lined up for us. And like I said earlier, I want to go ahead and take a look through each of these sets and determine just how likely they are to appear in the next Ninjago season. Again, whether that be season 16 or season 15, whatever you want to call it, once again, doesn't really matter to me. Let's start things off by taking a look at Jay and Nia's race car Evo. Okay, so in terms of this set possibly appearing in the next season, I mean, some stuff about this set could very well translate over, such as the Serpentine Helicopter, if snakes are indeed going to be the bad guys next season. Otherwise, the J car itself could very well appear. I know I've said in other videos that this car is very similar to the Ninja Sub Speeder, but maybe in the context of the Ninjago show, this car could very well be the ninja subspeeder just redesigned or reworked for the land as opposed to you know as opposed to being a primary water-based vehicle maybe they could rework the ninja subspeeder and make it a ninja land car or a ninja land racer or something similar to that i think this car has a very high chance of appearing in the next season especially if jay himself is going to be the main focus i think they will definitely include some type of vehicle for jay and this one being the vehicle would make sense considering how 
how this is the one that's going to be out by the time season 16 gets released. In terms of other things about this set, once again, Nia is in here. I'm not sure if Nia is going to be appearing in this form in the next season, but we'll just have to wait and see. Out of this entire set, I think the J car is the most likely thing to possibly appear. Lloyd's Ninja Mech could very well make an appearance in the next season of Ninjago because it's basically just a mech. You could do anything with this thing. You could have it be used as a vehicle for Lloyd if you wanted to, uh, with this being a mech, like I said, it's not really specific to anything. You could very well include this mech in the next season, no problem. Not sure if the snake would be in there as mentioned earlier. I'm not sure if these snakes are even going to be appearing next season, but the vehicle itself, the actual mech as it is, I don't see any reason why this one could not be in the actual season as it is. I don't think this mech has the best design and I would definitely choose other mechs, you know, before I would make the decision to include this thing in the story. But still, if Lloyd's Ninja Mech appears in season 16, I would not be surprised because in my opinion, it makes sense for it to be there. This could apply to any scenario and any situation. Admittedly, the Ninja Dojo Temple on the surface seems like it very well could fit into the next season somewhere, but I don't think it will. I mean, if the Ninjago story calls for a specific temple location, I have no doubts that this will be the one that they opt to go for. It's a pretty nice looking temple, all things considered. There's a lot going on with it in terms of a design. You can see multiple uh, very cool details and everything like that sprinkled throughout this design. It's a very appealing and professional looking temple. So if they need to include something like that in the next season, I have no doubts they will use this specific design. Kai's mech might appear, I will say. Uh, that mech is very simple and straightforward, so maybe we'll see that in the story as well. But I wouldn't, you know, hold my breath for this one appearing next season. It very well could, but I'm not sure if it will. Alright, so in terms of Lloyd's Legendary Dragon, I'm just gonna say I don't think this is gonna be appearing in Season 16. I don't think any of the dragons will be in the next season. The next season seems to be more technology-based and calling for more technology-style builds from this wave. So mechs, cars, you know, everything like that. Dragons, maybe if the dragon is mechanical, but this dragon looks very organic compared to other dragons that we've seen throughout Ninjago's past. So as much as I love this design and as cool as this set is, I don't think it's going to be appearing in Season 16, and I would not hold my breath for an appearance from Lloyd's Legendary Dragon. In my opinion, the Ninja Ultra Combo Mech has a very high chance of appearing in Ninjago Season 16 for a couple of reasons. For one, this build is arguably the most impressive and the most out there out of all of the builds in this entire wave. I mean, just look at this thing. It's a huge mech using a whole bunch of other Ninjago vehicles as the basis for its construction. I feel like this thing is very creative in its own way and could in fact be one of the staple sets of the entirety of Ninjago 2022. I mean, just look at this thing. It's very impressive, very unique when it comes to a mech design. We haven't really seen anything like this for Ninjago before. And because I find season 16 to be very technology heavy in terms of a theme, why not include the most technology heavy set in LEGO's current arsenal for Ninjago 2022? It just makes the most amount of sense to me. Uh, this ninja mech could work in a variety of ways in terms of the story, and you could incorporate all of these vehicles as well into the story in their own way. In my opinion, I think this mech has a very high chance of appearing in Ninjago season 16, and this is the one that I expect to appear, uh, if anything. If there's going to be one set from this wave in the next season, it's probably going to be this one for sure. Lloyd's race car Evo may also appear. I mean, if they call for a Lloyd vehicle, why not include this one? I'd rather see this in the actual, you know, story more than Lloyd's mech. I think this design is a lot better than Lloyd's really uh, terrible Junior's mech or whatever you want to call that set. Again, snakes probably won't appear. If they do, then, you know, I have no doubts. We will see this epic go-kart in full, but uh, yeah, this Lloyd car, I mean, sure, why not include it in the actual season? Really doesn't hurt, in my opinion. Lloyd's had cars before, who's to say he can't have another one? This one is also very likely to appear in the next season, but then again, if they don't include it, I simply just won't care. Kai's Fire Dragon Evo is another set that I highly doubt will be in Ninjago Season 16. I mean, if dragons appear, then Kai will probably have something similar to this, but I don't think any dragons will appear. I think the season is going to be more technology-based, as I mentioned earlier, and if this is a robotic dragon, then sure, but I think we are more likely to see one of Kai's several mechs for this wave as opposed to his dragon right here. I don't think this dragon will appear at all. The same can be said for Jay's Thunder Dragon Evo. This is another set that I highly doubt will be in Season 16. I mean, it's a Jay dragon, and Jay dragons, uh, you know, usually don't appear to look like this. I mean, this set is kind of underwhelming. If they do redesign it for the show, I'd say, you know, go for it, include it. But as it stands right now, as mentioned, I don't think dragons are going to be appearing at all in the next season. Though Jay's dragon, if he 
is going to be a major character, could very well have a higher chance of appearing than some other dragons that we've already talked about on this list. But uh, you want my honest opinions on this dragon? I don't like it all that much, and I don't really think it's going to be in the show itself. And finally, we have Zane's power-up mech Evo. Honestly, why not include this in the show? I mean, go for it. It's a small mech for Zane. Zane hasn't really had a new vehicle for a while in the show. He has his ninja copter, or whatever you want to call it, from season 11, the uh, Shurocopter, I think it's called. But uh, this thing could be a nice replacement. Give Zane some type of little walker, some type of small, uh, detailed little mech. I really don't see the harm in including this in season 16. Why not? I mean, you're just promoting one of the cheapest sets, you know, so go for it. Do it. I don't really see a reason why this can't be in the next season at all. So yeah, I do believe some of the most likely Ninjago sets to appear in the next wave will in fact be technology-based sets, such as mechs and vehicles. If dragons appear, then fantastic. I would love to see more Ninjago dragons, but I find it much more likely that vehicles are the way to go here. Maybe the ninja are going to be having some type of rescue mission to find Nia. Maybe they need to fight the Vengestone Buyer. Who's to say? I just think technology will have a better chance against the Vengestone Buyer and a better chance of finding and rescuing Nia than dragons will. But that's just my opinion at the end of the day. Either way, no matter what happens, no matter which sets appear, I do like how Ninjago is taking that extra step to include Ninjago fans that are specifically here for the TV show. There are many different Ninjago fans that exist, and while this new wave of sets does appear to be on the surface, catering towards a younger demographic, it's nice to see that the core Ninjago audience is not completely forgotten about and is still considered in these decisions that LEGO makes. So with all that being said, you guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up from my thoughts here today. Leave a comment down below talking about which of the 2022 sets you would personally like to see in the next Ninjago season, whether that be season 16 or something else entirely. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed, and of course, be sure to subscribe if you have not done so already. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media, and once again, that'll pretty much do it from my thoughts here today. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. My name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.